And joining us here today, we continue to talk with our friends at Agoro Carbon Alliance and learn more about some of the things they do and also learn more just about this carbon market in general and how agriculture can play a role in carbon sequestration and climate change, etc. Joining us here once again this week, pleased to have with us Mark Warner, agronomist at Agoro Carbon Alliance. Mark, good to have you back on the show this week. I hope things are going well. Going well. Thanks again for having me. Well, let's dive in, and I'd love just to talk a little bit with you. I know last week we talked about the company, about Agoro Carbon Alliance, and a lot of the things you guys do. I'd love to just get your perspective as an agronomist, though, for Agoro. We look at agriculture and the role that ag is playing in this carbon market, and carbon sequestration, climate change, etc. From your standpoint and from Agoro's standpoint, how can agriculture play the role it needs to play in the carbon market, Mark? I think we have a really unique opportunity to not only be a player in the carbon markets, but to truly um, improve our, our soils and our you know carbon footprint as, as operators and, and farmers and ranchers. Um, I, ca- I come from the ag industry, 10 years of experience in the ag industry as an agronomist working in the seed and chem industries um, as a uh, territory sales manager and agronomist. And um, during those years, I really started to notice just the conditions of our soils and, and the difference in individuals that were um, using practices like no-till and cover crops and had been doing so for decades. And I just really saw a difference um, in the resilience of those soils. They had soil structure, they had better water infiltration. Um, and I saw that as an opportunity um, for ourselves on our first generation farm. Um, that's how we we farm our acres and uh, we firsthand see those changes. So. Um, working in the carbon markets for me was a, a win-win. Not only do I get to help them make an agronomic change that I believe in, that I've seen um, better operations, but also we can offer them an incentive. So it's truly a win-win for growers. If they're in it for the long haul and they want to uh, you know, make the, the decisions that are going to best um, make the best conditions out of their soils, uh, this opportunity allows them to do that while also making some money as well. Well, and I think uh, what the number is just a little over a third of our global land surface used for agriculture. Mm-hmm. And I, I think about that and just, I mean, that's that's a lot of area and that's a lot of uh, opportunity for farmers and ranchers to play a role in this carbon sequestration, climate change, some of the things you hit on. I mean, there's, there's a lot of opportunity here for change that could benefit everyone in the long haul. Yeah, and to take it even a step further, you know, the percentage of those acres, um, I couldn't give you the exact statistic, but the majority of our acres are still, you know, worked and cultivated in some shape or form. So the percentage of individuals that are eligible to sign up into these programs are quite high. Um, we, we do also run into individuals like myself who have previously adopted these practices. And, and that's sometimes a hard conversation. And I get it. it it's, it's hard uh, knowing, hey, I've done this for the right reasons years ago and I never got paid for it. I'm not eligible now. But my message to those individuals is just, you know, hang on, pay attention attention to this space. Uh, this industry is very much so in its infancy. We're learning more things about carbon sequestration in our soils every day. And, and I truly believe that we'll find ways um, to work with you know, legacy, uh, legacy growers and ad- early adopters in the future as we learn more about the carbon space. So I'm optimistic of you know, the science behind this and where it will go into the future. And that's a great point you make, Mark, is just the fact that this market is evolving, changing. We're learning so much more. I know there's a lot of questions out there from farmers and ranchers, but I think uh, with Agoro, you, you guys do, I, I don't think, I know, uh, you guys do a great job answering those questions, providing resources, walking side by side with farmers and ranchers who join up uh, and sign up with Agoro Carbon Alliance and even I'm sure fielding some questions from some of those legacy farmers as well who've already adopted these practices. But you guys are are here to help make a difference, Mark. Yep, that's right. Yeah, we have a full team of agronomists. Uh, we have a grower success team that works with our our signed contract acres throughout the length of their contract. Uh, we want to help them with anything they may need, whether it be agronomic, whether it be tied to the carbon markets. Um, we, we pride ourselves in having a really diverse team with a lot of knowledge around conservation, agriculture, and also the carbon markets. And uh, I'm confident that if one of our, you know, one of our customers or somebody that's interested in our program has some type of question about the carbon markets or these practice changes, I'm confident we can answer that question with somebody on our team. 
Well, and I know farmers and ranchers, whether we're talking row crops or we're talking pasture, range and pasture, both can sign up, both can be a part, both can get paid for their carbon sequestration and uh, signing up with a contract and the plan with the Goro Carbon Alliance. I know you guys have a lot of great resources to start on your website, don't you, Mark? Yeah, we do. Uh, we have a, a Carbon Farming Knowledge Hub is a page that we created that has a lot of articles that we've written. A lot of our agronomists have written about the carbon space, about conservation agriculture, about practice change. Um, really interesting to jump on there and take a look at what we have. We also um, have created some podcasts with some of our some of our farmers and ranchers that we work with that can kind of tell you firsthand what it's like working with us, uh, what their practice changes have been like and, and their firsthand experiences. So that can give you some confidence of what you're getting into if you are interested in working with us. And, and you know, our goal is to real, you know, transparency and, and to be a, a lending hand to anybody that's interested in this space or, or wants to jump into this space. Well, I know folks can find more of that information online. Again, Agoro Carbon Alliance, that's A-G-O-R-O, agorocarbonalliance.com. Mark Warner, agronomist with Agoro Carbon Alliance. Thank you for joining us here today on Market Talk, and I look forward to talking to you again real soon. Thanks so much. Yep, thank you for having me.